Hi, my name is Naya Grice. I am majoring in biology and minoring in chemistry. I plan to become a dentist. All right, so the time is 7.12. I don't know if you can see that, but I am already on campus. I wake up pretty early on the days that I have to be here because we're doing um, in person. Today is Monday and my last class is in the lecture hall. So I like to park where my last class is so I can get in my car and go. Cause today I will be on campus all day. My first class is at 10. It's a um, cell biology lab. And then my last class is at 6, 6 to 7.15. And that is organic chemistry one and it, that one is both of those classes are on campus so that is why i'm here i also have another class calculus two at three to four but that's um online okay so campus is pretty dead in the morning <laughs> um there's not that many people here so for me i like to study in the um science building there are two lounges in there i go to the third floor with the neuroscience um lounges and i study there before my cell biology class i normally study there every day i like to be somewhere where it's a little bit more quiet and secluded there's plenty of areas where you can do that at though not just at this lounge for example the library that's right there the library <laughs> so i'm now in the neuroscience uh, student lounge i am personally not a neuroscience major like i said earlier i'm a biology major with a chemistry minor but anybody can study in here anytime remember to mask up and sanitize your desk and stuff these signs are everywhere i like the view of being up here too like the sun is coming out right now and there's nobody in here it's supposed to be a quiet area but there's nobody in here right now this wall has plenty of information for anybody if you're looking for a job a volunteer opportunity an apartment whatever you're looking for these walls are everywhere in every part of campus but there's one in here so i'm just making sure. so for right now i am just about to get my stuff out and start studying well, my cell biology lab is now over um, we're basically just looking at um stuff inside tetrahymena which is an organism um, today we are looking at the number of food vacuoles in a regular tetrahymena and one that um, has inhibitors which slows down the process of developing the food vacuole. So we were just counting those up and looking at the data. I'm about to go to the campus center and grab me some food and then I'm going to go ahead and head to my internship and I'll let you guys know more about that after I finish getting my food. So I just left the campus center. I'm headed towards Riley Hospital right now. Actually, I'm already kind of here. <laughs> but there's a dental school right there. So last year, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do over the course of my four years as an undergrad, majoring in biology, minoring in chemistry, to make me stand out. So um, when you go to a school, they um, sign you up for all these emails that you get. And I got one about Life Health Science Internship Program, and I decided to go ahead and pursue that. I applied, I got accepted, and then they matched me to a site. So my site is here at Riley Hospital. Um, I'm in the research center, of course, but my research team is doing their stuff based around type one diabetes in kids. All right, so I'm leaving my internship site. It's a little bit past five o'clock. My class starts at six. So I'm walking towards um, the lecture hall now to go to organic chemistry lecture. So I stopped right outside of the dental school just to talk about my internship a little bit more because the dental school is right across from Riley. So for my internship, my goal and my project is to try to recruit people who have family members with type one diabetes because you're 15 times more likely to have type one diabetes or to get it if you have a family member with it. So with COVID going on, you can't really go out and recruit patients. So I have to call and send letters, postcards, and emails to family members with 
type one diabetes to see if they have any eligible family members they think should get tested for the autoantibodies associated with type one. Okay, so I just finished my last class, which was organic chemistry. I'm getting in my car now. I have a 30 minute commute back home. I live in Indianapolis, born in Indianapolis. So I know where I'm going. Gotta take the highway, but I'm gonna use my GPS because they've been doing a lot of construction down here. But yeah, that is school finished. Then I'll show you what I do at home after I get there. So that was my day a typical day for me with the um, changes that have happened because of COVID. It's just now 8 o'clock and I just got home. I, I had a 30 minute commute home. So I am about to eat a real meal, some dinner, and then I'm going to do some more studying until about 10 or 11 o'clock. And then I do this all over again tomorrow. Thanks for joining my vlog. Thanks for visiting and going through my day with me. So yeah, thank you.